You said you wanted end game. Did I get that right? That is correct. Okay, so endless grinding leaderboards or something you can compete against others in? Exactly that. Okay. Are you sure that's what you want? Do you perceive me to be an imbecile of some sort? As if I don't know what I really want or as if I don't know what I'm talking about? Hey, are you gonna answer? No, 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 of course not. Um, but I'm just gonna ask one more time. This is what you want. Yes, I've been asking for this kind of feature for months now. Listen to me, you stupid shithole of a breast milk stealing company. Okay, here it is. Yes. What the fuck is this? It's exactly what you asked for. It's endgame. Is it not? I can take Fat it back L. to the D4. Oh, we can realize it's just not the same anymore, man. You know, most of the original talent's actually gone. <sighs> it's just a bunch of. Does this seem familiar to you? Hi, I'm Rain. And I'm here to tell you, you probably don't actually know what the fuck you really want. And I'm here to tell you about Endgame. If you try to define Endgame as acquiring incremental upgrades in order to take on ascendingly difficult challenges and content, bruh, that's not Endgame, that just game. Endgame is defined by Google as the last parts of a strategic game, such as chess. The very last part, indicating it's soon to be over. So clearly, Endgame isn't infinite grinding, infinitely scaling challenges. It's not whatever content comes after the main story. And it's definitely not whatever the f this is. So stop asking for Endgame, because remember, that just game. Start asking for replayability. That's the true Endgame. Hades has some of the best endgame of all time with its infinite replayability, especially for speedrunners. Guild Wars 2 has never really had traditional endgame raids such as EverQuest or WoW, and it's a meme within that community to call the game Wardrobe Wars 2 on account of how its endgame is basically just a fashion show because of how deep and complex the cosmetic and die systems in the game are. Endgame for me personally is all about build discovery, especially within the RPG genre. I love discovering the different interactions within a build and how those interactions are affected by all the other systems within a game, which is why I love Last Epoch. Which is why I've played Grim Dawn a dozen different times, which is why the first 5,000 hours of Path of Exile kept me playing for 5,000 hours. Pretty much, whatever keeps someone playing a game in the end is the end game. Whether people want to start a new island in Animal Crossing, whether people want to pick a different starter in Pokemon, do God Runs of the Souls games, or go for Challenger as a support. May God have mercy on your masochistic souls. So what I'm trying to say is shut the f*** up about Endgame already and start talking about today's sponsor, Rocket Money, and start talking about depth and replayability. Thank you for listening. Damn, this guy loves to hear himself talk. What a pompous twat. Needle dick, have an ass. No hair, have an ass. Brush my teeth while looking at his reflective head ass.